Hey everyone, welcome to part 3 of the GML basics tutorials. Okay, um, first part I showed you variables and drawing. Uh, the second part I showed you the if statement. So now I'm going to show you the while loop. Okay, so um, this is in the same project as before. So it's just got this object draw in um, pretty much just like a plain room. And um, it's got all the code from the last part in it, so where we made it draw a red square if we were clicking. Okay, so today I'm going to show you the while loop. So basically, what the while loop is, it's like saying, it's like again using if in a sentence, I guess. So it's the same kind of concept. Um, so in this case, you're using while. So you might say to a friend, while I'm at the shops, could you jump up and down? So as long as you're at the shops, that person is supposed to just keep jumping up and down. So it's, a, it's the same kind of idea in this, except obviously, well actually I guess you could make your character jump up and down if you wanted to while something was happening, but I'm not going to be doing that today. And today we're just going to make a number go, like just kind of count up um, while something is happening. So, um, the thing about while loops is it's really easy to freeze your game using them. Because when in a loop like that, um, this is the same with for loops, but I'll show you those later on. Um, if you don't give it a way out of the loop, then the game will get stuck in the loop and it'll just freeze your game. So, yeah, you, you want to avoid that one. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is I'll make a variable just called num and set that to zero. We're just going to make that count up like while we're holding down space or something like that. Okay, so just make a variable and um, set that to zero. And then go into your step event and add in some code. Okay. So now that we have that, we can get going. Okay, so um, yeah. So you want to type in while to start off with. So you type while space, and then you need to give it like something to check. So in this case, we're gonna um check if space is pressed. So while keyboard check, and then VK space. And then you're opening and closing curly braces, and then anything between those curly braces, um, the code will continue to run as long as you're holding down space, and it'll just keep running those three lines. It will not continue until that's not true. So, um, the way out, obviously, in this case, is letting go of space, but like if you were, for example, checking numbers and you might use like a higher than instead of a lower than sign then you could potentially screw up your game well not screw it up but just like freeze it you can go back and fix it it's not like you've permanently destroyed it but yeah okay so while keyboard check uh, VK space we're gonna make this number go up by one so you can just write num and then plus equals one or plus plus which is plus one and there's also minus minus which is minus one but yeah so you just write num plus plus in there and that is that and then we're just going to our draw event and we're going to draw this to the screen so that we can actually see that it's being drawn and we may as well just use this here yeah, so if you get rid of the bare t equals text if you still have that from last time and just put num in there instead of t, and then that'll draw a number for us. Okay, and that is it. So if you run that, then you'll see your numbers at zero. I'm going to hold down space now. Sorry. And for whatever reason, that isn't working. Fair enough, I haven't actually used the keyboard check in that before anyway. Okay, so instead of doing that, um, we'll make it while num is lower than 100. 
Okay, so now, instead of checking for the space key, which didn't seem to work for whatever reason, we're going to check if num is lower than 100. And then if it is, it'll continue to add 1 to 100 until it is equal to 100. No, sorry. Until it's equal to 101. No, yeah, it'll be 100. Don't worry about that. <laughs> okay, so um, I have to restart GameMaker now because I've frozen and GameMaker's kind of not happy with me now. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I'm back. Um, Yeah, so you run that. And as you can see, it went straight to 100. Uh, and we did set it to zero, so you, you can't really like visually see what's going on there. But um, hopefully, if I explained it right, you get the idea of it. So yeah, I, I'll just go through this again. Okay, so as I said, it's like telling your friend to do something. So in this case, it's while num is lower than 100. Um, add one to our variable num and it'll keep doing that but like as I was saying before if there was code beneath this so you might have like something if j not equals t do whatever's in there um in fact it wouldn't be like that anyway it's written wrong if not j equals c there we go okay so um if, even if that was like below it, then like that wouldn't be able to run until this loop is ended. So it like kind of gets stuck in that, and as you you might be able to kind of see why the game would freeze like that now because um you get stuck in those only those three lines of code the um the screen can't refresh and the game can't continue to um finish the rest of the code in each step because this loop is running. But yeah, a uh, pretty quick part today. That's pretty much all there is to the while loop. Um, I'll show you, I might as well show you the for loop as well. Okay, yeah, so for loop is a lot like the while loop, except you're like setting the variables that you're using for it um, while you use it. So you write for and then i equals zero. So you set um, i to zero. And you're right, i is lower than, say, 6, and then i plus plus. Okay, so now I'll kind of explain to you what this actually does. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so, um, so it's a bit like saying while i is lower than 6, add 1 to i. Except in this case, you set i to 0, and then it checks to see if i is lower than 6 and then it adds 1 to i if it is lower than 6 so it's like setting a variable checking the variable with an if statement and then adding 1 to it but in a loop so if we put our brackets after that and then like kind of type something in there so you might you might have something like uh, you might set a variable to i or something like that. I wasn't really prepared for this, so I don't really have anything to use it for. But um, yeah, ho hopefully you get the idea of that. Like, so uh, I'll just go through it one more time. So like four, so it sets i to zero, and then it checks to see whether i is lower than six, and then if i is lower than six, it, then it adds um one to i. So hopefully you understand that. Um, yeah, well, I wasn't prepared to do that for this tutorial, so I don't really have anything to use it for. But yeah, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it for the while and for loops. There isn't really a lot on them, but like, I, all I did was add one to a number then like for that but they can be used for a lot of different things like if you go back to my platform by movement tutorial which is from like way back you'll see a for loop in there and I use that to um make like pixel perfect collisions 
yeah, they, they can be used for like heaps of different stuff. It's not like, yeah, you have to add one to a number. And that's it. Okay, so, um, yeah, I hope this, uh, helped you guys out. If it did, um, if you could just like hit that like button, it just lets me know whether you want more or not. Um, kind of like a stat thing and, you know, lets me know I'm kind of actually helping people out. So, yeah, if it helps you out, then, you know, hit that button for me. Um, if you want more videos, uh, subscribe as well. Uh, if you have any tutorial requests, uh, feel free to send me a message either through YouTube or send me a message through the Facebook page, which I'll link to in the description. Um, please don't comment your uh, requests. Uh, it's easy to use comments like questions on the specific tutorial that I'm doing. Now, if you have any questions on this tutorial, comment those and I'll answer those as best as I can, if I can at all. Um, in most cases, I'll be able to though. But yeah, I'll see you guys.